Hello and welcome to the fourth video in the MB Sports Web video trading series covering the game officials module. In this video we're going to look at how to apply some of the default settings for each of the teams or leagues within the association website, such as the number of officials required per position, any age requirements you want to apply, and the default pays. We'll also take a brief look at the, some of the configuration options that were covered off in an earlier video. So back in our demo site, we're looking at the Manage Game Officials module. And within there, we're looking under Setup and Settings, and then Default Settings, and then the season that we want to take the default settings for. Now this page can be a little intimidating at first, but what it's showing is for each of the teams and each of the leagues, if you have house leagues, as well as non-association groups, which we'll cover in a later video, for each position, the number of officials that we're going to be looking at, their minimum age requirements, their default pay, minimum qualifications, minimum experience for each of those positions. So in the case of this site, we're looking at for two-man referee, all these various settings, for three-man referee, all these settings, and three-man linesmen and timekeepers. Now because timekeepers don't have qualifications, it doesn't show those default settings. Now this is set up as a hierarchy, so the organization defaults will define what, uh, what is applied to each of these categories and teams if nothing else has been set for those categories or teams. So typically in a large association who has a house league program, your organization defaults will be what is most commonly used within your house league program. If you don't have house league, then the organization defaults would be what is most commonly used amongst all the teams within your association. So to set any of these, we can hover over each of those rows and it changes to yellow, which means that we can double click on that item and set the default settings. So here we can see that for the organization, for two man referees, the default number that we want to apply is two. We're not worried about setting an age. The default pay is $25 and we've not set qualifications or experiences. However, if our default, or sorry, if our minimum default qualifications are to have a level one referee, then we can check that option. And when I update this, it will now apply a qualification level of level one to every team or league who doesn't have something else already set up for that team or league. I can then override that to say that within our representative teams that the minimum qualification is going to be level two certified. And that means that for sites that have categories set up, then all of the teams within that category will automatically uh, uh, inherit the setting applied at the category level, unless they've been set explicitly differently. Now, for example, one of the things that happens in hockey quite a bit is that come minor Bantam, when there's a three-man system, we might want to take that team then and say, our two-man referees, our number of those is going to be zero. We want a one three-man referee, and we want two three-man linesmen. And we would correspondingly set what we want to have for the certification levels for each of those officials um, that are set in those positions. Now this page shows everything in, in a uh, either a bold or a light font color. And that is to indicate whether or not the setting is being inherited from somewhere else. So if the uh, setting is applied to an individual team or to a category, it will show in a darker black text as opposed to a lighter gray. So for the non-house league teams, you can set uh, those settings on an individual team by team basis. Within uh, associations who have house league programs, for each of those league divisions or age groups, you will be setting those uh, the default settings for the entire division. You won't be using that to set individual rates for each for each team. So we can change this on a, on a division by division basis just by double clicking and set those settings. And then also the non-association groups, if you're using the, the site to schedule non-association games, then you can set that uh, on this page as well. If your association also happens to have hosted tournaments, then any of the tournaments that you've got set up or that the tournament convener has set up, you would be able to set the uh, default settings for the uh, entire tournament and also then override them on a division by division basis as well. So 
uh, if the uh, novice age group in this tournament had certain requirements, but then the championship division had additional requirements, then you can set the, all those up as well prior to scheduling the officials for those games. If you need to refer back to what those settings were in previous seasons, you can expand other seasons if there are other seasons in the site and take a look at those settings as they were applied in other seasons. Now what's nice is that any settings you set in a season will be copied from year to year, uh, provided the association does copy their seasons from year. That the uh, settings that are applied to the officials do follow uh, in subsequent seasons when they are copied, which means you wouldn't have to reset all this stuff up on a year to year basis. However, if things change from the uh, previous season, you can certainly go in and make adjustments to these settings as needed. And keep in mind that these settings are also just defaults. Uh, the assigners always have the ability to override what the system is suggesting that they do. So even though they've suggested that a level three certified is required for the referee and the minor Bantam game, we allow the assigner to do whatever they wish to do. So if they want to assign a level one referee to the game, then they can do that. Uh, that would be up to the assigner to make that uh, that mistake in that in that case. So um, these again are just uh, minimums and their suggestions, and they're then they're meant to help uh, find the right officials available for the games. Uh, as we showed in the previous video, when we're setting up the officials, we tell the system what they what their certification uh, levels are and what their experience levels are. So this is where we set for those teams. Uh, any games that belong to those teams, how to match the right people to the right game. And lastly, just to quickly review, this configuration options page does appear within the game officials module if the person who is the assigner also happens to be an administrator. So if the assigner is not an administrator, then this configuration options uh, page may not appear and the settings that are on this page. Again, each one of these settings has a description as far as what they do. If you need further explanations for what those things are or how you might want to set them up for your association, please submit support, a support ticket and we'd be happy to, to provide assistance.